Bro, I kid y'all not. When I seen this video, bro, I literally had, I'm like, bro, I got to react to it, bro. Y'all know I love talking about women in a good way, in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, sometimes women be treating us wrong. So when I seen this video, I'm like, dog, I got to react to it. I got to see what it's talking about. This is my authentic reaction. So you can go ahead and get right into it. But as y'all can see by the title, this is how to finesse your way to success. You know, and how to ask a guy for money. Now, we got a beautiful black melon queen right here on the screen. So we go see her ways of finessing and how to ask guys for money. I feel like me personally, when it comes to money and women, I feel like if you're not my wife, I don't owe, I don't owe you no money. I don't have to give you no money because you're simply my girlfriend and not my wife. My wife, we're a joint into one. My money is your money. Your money is my money. Simple as that. Girlfriend, boyfriend. Bro, this is just a, you know what I'm saying? This might be a seasonal thing, and not, it might not be a long-term thing, so I'm not finna give you no money. But look, if you go ahead and get to it, man, end up talking, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post, don't forget to follow me, but it's awesome. And without further ado, let's get it, man. Oh, hi there. It's your girl, codenamed Chanel. And I know usually on my channel, I talk about finessing and living a better lifestyle, but... I've been doing some soul searching, some inner, inner soul searching. And I realized that that's not what life is about. You know, life is not about getting money from guys and taking trips and having someone take care of you. Life is really about self-love, sisters. You get what I'm saying? So if you came here for some finesse tips, <laughs> you came to the right place. Okay, so now that the haters, the perfect... Ain't no way, boy, she just finessed us for, what, 41 seconds she just finessed us into this video. You were smart, you were, see, I knew women had some type of brain up there. Oh, man, you really just finessed us to 41 seconds in the video. I give you your props on that the one. Traders and the broke boys is gone. Let's get into some finesse tips. Stay tuned. What you just Okay, so now that the haters, the perpetrators, and the broke boys is gone, let's get into some finesse tips. Stay tuned. <laughs> weird in the camera, it's because I'm recording a different way and it's going to come off weird. And I'm sorry. So, one thing that I will say is I love y'all and it's all love. And it's all love because you guys have been liking, commenting, and subscribing. I've seen the DMs. Uh, don't tell me she got a long intro, bro. I just want to get to the and finesse I think tips, I got man. Of myself, which has been flooded, and it's to answer your questions. And I also did a live. If you're new, and I know that you're gonna love me, and I just have, and um, yeah, I just think I'm interesting. So if you try to not get off a topic, and I'm gonna try to. Get Dang, baby, you talk so much. You talked one minute fifty nine seconds. That's two minutes of the video. Guys, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to get into the finesse tips, cuz. Get straight to the point now that we're at the point. Let's Thank go you. to how to finesse, but this part will be how to ask a guy for, for money or how to get a guy to give you money. And we're going to start with, we're, we're, we're just going to start in general. So it won't be uh, directed towards sugar daddies or really anybody. It's just going to be literally how to ask a guy for money right now. So let's start. First thing that we don't want to do is we don't want to do like, a troubled lie. We want to do a untroubled lie. We don't want to do a struggle lie. You know, we want to do an unstruggled lie. Is untroubled a word? I just made it up. Let's go ahead and look it up in a dictionary. Webster, you got me? Okay, cool. All right, so troubled lies or struggled lies would be lies that are like your rent is due, you're about to get evicted. Ghetto. First off, first off, let me let me get this out the way, sus. You know what I'm saying? Sus, let me get this out the way. First of all, if a woman asks a guy for money and they're not married, I will call that a simp. Because, bro, if my girlfriend asks me for money, now, granted, you know, it depends. Now, if she asks me for $25, $30, that's a different story. That ain't nothing. That's a little bread. But if she asks me for a whole rent bill, like $700, $800, girl, girl. You better go kick rocks. You better go ask your daddy. Because I ain't your daddy. I'm only your daddy one way, if you know what I mean. The ghetto. Just ghetto. Just poor. No one wants to help somebody who is just so dependent, who needs help right away. Literally, on Sugar Daddy profiles or on anything, like, guys will literally be like, will literally say, like, I don't, I'm, I don't want nobody that needs help immediately. Because... 
that's just not what it is. That's just not what it is. Like, at all. I, I literally said, and even, and I want to get into this, and this is going to be off topic, but the Add Me app is a dollar now, you guys. Um, Bumble, you do not need to pay for it to see your matches. You swipe, swipe, swipe until you match with somebody. And if you're not matching with somebody, then your pictures aren't good enough. But guess what? We're going to take this anyway except personal. Actually, that's going to be the motto for the video. We're going to take what I say anyway except personal. If you are not getting matches, it's because your pictures are not good. So when they tell you, oh, yeah, you're not... Why do black people get off topic so much? Like, I, I I I do the same thing. That's why I'm saying why I do black. I feel like this is just a, like, why do we get off topic so much? Like, we can never stay on one subject. Like, if a person talking to us about their dead granny, we want to say something else. Like, oh, um, so yeah, how was your day today? Like, I mean, like, why do we get off topic so much? Like, baby, get to the point. So we swiping, we swiping, we swiping, right? And we're trying to get money out. The bad part is she not even sponsored. Like, the video not even sponsored. She just telling people what app to uh, no. by telling you that you can match that they have your the add me app is a dollar if you don't have a dollar guess what the finesse game is not for you but check this out we're gonna take this anyway except personal so back at it with a back at it we're gonna talk about the trouble and untroubled life so we were just talking about rent right so also another another troubled uh struggle fib that no one likes to hear is i don't have any food in my house my kids don't have any food okay look that scares me and I'm going to call CPS because really, yes, because really stop playing. <laughs> the editing in this video is so bad, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the editing in this video is so bad. Like me personally, I used to edit my videos. Now I don't because I just do everything wrong. And when it comes to reactions, I mean, I just want to show people this is authentic. It's, not, it's nothing to really edit. But bro, <laughs> the editing in this video is terrible. Like one out of two, two out of 10 for effort. And Stop going on these apps and stop telling these men stuff like that. Like, what? You don't even know who he is. He could be working for the county. Like, what? And you're telling him you don't have no food in your house? Listen, y'all, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this once, one time only. Well, no, I'm going to keep saying this. Keep saying this. Have your own bread, okay? Have your own job. Peep this out. Like I said, I have a full-time job. I have a job. And I have plenty of side hustles, and finessing is one of them, okay? And you sitting here... Telling somebody, oh, you need... So you got your own money. You got your own side hustles. And finessing is one of them. Why do you need another man money? Why Why is finessing even one of the side hustles? Like, do you find pleasure in taking another man's money? Like, this is this man's rent. And just because you're a beautiful... You're a beautiful queen. You're a beautiful black queen. And I feel like men see that and then they want to give you money. Like, let me tell you, man. Let me, fellas, look. Listen. Listen, fellas. If a woman asks you for money and you give it to her because you want to seem like a nice guy or you want to seem like, oh, if I get her this, you know what I'm saying? I might go ahead and give me some, you know what I'm saying? No, no. Most likely she finessing you, bro. Like, I feel like if a woman asks you for $500, bro, she's finessing you, bro. Because most likely women, they have their own. They just choose to ask men for things so they can just have a little extra cash, a little extra bread to go splurge on a Michael Kors bag or a Gucci bag. Or, you know what I'm saying? They're going to keep doing it because they know you're going to keep you they you gonna keep doing it and then especially if she not giving you no you know what and you still giving her this money come on bro you was a straight sim you your mama must not show you enough love to the point where you out here really giving women money that's not your wife like that's just not nah. i'm sorry need your rent pay or even the car note is kind of a struggle life because here's the thing about the car note it could it is it is your there. There's livelihood in the. Ain't no, <laughs> you need to finesse your way into some speech classes, baby. Like no offense to people that stutter, but day hey, you talking about finessing? It 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 it, it 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 And I'm not making fun of people that stutter. I'm not at all, cause y'all y'all don't know how to take a joke. It's literally a joke. You know what I'm saying? Not making fun of her. I'm just saying she wanted finesse man into giving her money, so she got finesse her way into some speech classes. Simple as that the car note it it is it is your there there's livelihood in the car note in the rent these are things if you don't have them you if you don't have a car you can't get to work if you don't have a house you don't have nowhere to sleep you're homeless okay so nobody wants to help you in dire distress now there's going to be girls in the comments talking about well my sugar daddy paid my rent or i had a guy pay my rent same 
Same, same. But I didn't come off struggling. And if you say you came off struggling, then please don't make that. You're the exception of the rule. You're the exception of the rule. Because literally, nobody wants to help somebody that's like always needs them. That's called being dependent. And we're talking about, and what I'm talking about, the finessing, what I'm talking about is being independent and making your side hustle. It's finessing, okay? Bro, first of all, if you're independent, you don't need nobody else's money. Like, regardless of this finesse and all that, this ain't even a side hustle, bro. This is just pure finesse. Like, this finesse is not no side hustle, bro. Like, you're literally taking somebody else's money that you really don't need. You're just taking it for the fun of because you know that it's a lot of men out here, a lot of older men, a lot of sugar daddies, as y'all say. It's a lot of people out here that will give you the money, especially if you cute. And, you know what I'm saying? They willing to pay because they, they want to feel like, oh, if I pay this, she, she might give me some cooter mama. You know what I'm saying? But all the time, it's just like, bro. I'm not I'm not paying a woman anything, bro. Like I might buy them shoes here and there, but I'm not giving no money out. Like in the shoes I buy, it'd be Jordans. And then half of the time women they got small feet. So they Jordans be like a hundred to two hundred, depending on, you know, when the Jordan came out. But me, bro, like being independent, being an independent finesser, that ain't even a thing, bro. <laughs> Just be independent. Get your own money, get your own bread, pay your own rent. You know what I'm saying? You should never need another man to pay anything for you. And even if you don't need another man, you just want another man to pay something for you, then so, I don't know. Maybe your daddy didn't show you enough love at home because, dog, that is just, that's just per plain out, like, disrespectful in my eyes. Like, for real. So, you know, you can still do, if you do hair, still do the hair. If you do makeup, still do the makeup. If you, you, uh... do nails, still do the nails. You feel me? But we're gonna, this is the extra bread I'm talking about. I'm not talking about finesse in full time honey did it before and it's horrible don't ever do it in my opinion i'll never do it mm -mm. girl that was a life of struggle i don't like it mm, i don't like finesse full time i like having a job okay so another thing that i will say is a struggle lie is anything like um you know i'm not you know i was gonna say student debt but student debt that's not bad like your student loan okay because that's not really life if that doesn't get paid then, I mean, you can get an extension or something like that, and they wouldn't mind helping you with your education. Okay, that's that's not a struggle lie. Let, let me not say that. That's not a struggle lie. Okay, let's do untroubled lies, unstruggled lies, okay? And that will be stuff like a ticket, like a traffic ticket. You can come up with something like this. You text them. This can be a guy or just can be just, you know, a regular guy that you're dating or this. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't even finish this video because it's giving me delusion. It's it's making me realize that women is just really, like, out here doing this. I, I can't even finish this video, bro. Like, I wish I could, but I really can't because it's just like, bro, hearing her talk and hearing her speak on finessing and finessing other men and talking about these trouble and untroubled lies or whatever she's talking about, it's just ridiculous. And plus, it's like, I don't know, bro. The video is just like, I, I don't know, bro. It's, it's really, like, delusional. This video is really delusional. 19 minutes long on finesse and i'm pretty sure half of y'all broke women out here actually watch this whole entire video on how to finesse and how to ask a guy for money let me tell you like this you can only ask a guy for money that's a simp that that's just get that would just give you money out like no i'm not i'm sorry i'm not a real dude a real man he ain't finna give you no money for real especially if you just a girlfriend like if you're not his wife he's not finna give you 500 600 700 dollars that's something that your daddy should do we not your daddy. We only your daddy when it comes to the, you know, the, the the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? We ain't your daddy outside. We just your boyfriend, and that's it. Leave it at that. Until I become your husband, I'm just your boyfriend. I'm not finna give you six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars to pay your rent, or you know, sometimes rent is like eleven hundred. I'm not finna do that. No, you got eleven hundred dollar apartment. You got your own job. You got things to do. You are an adult now. It's time to pay your own bills. If I can't finesse a woman to give me money, then guess what? Y'all can't finesse me into giving y'all money. That's just how it works. You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. Come on, women. Y'all got to do better, man. Then some of y'all, man, go for women like this. Y'all really be thinking these women love y'all when they say, baby, if you love me, you'll go get my hair done. Girl, your hair is $200. $200. That is more than my car insurance. I'm not doing that, sis. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Like, no, 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 no. I wasn't ready. I'm not doing that. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That's that's exactly how much I pay for my shoes. Two hundred. You think I'm gonna pay two hundred for your hair that you finna get redone in about two or three weeks? No, sir. At least when I pay two hundred dollars for my shoes, I know I'm stopped growing. I'm eighteen. My feet ain't finna grow no more. I'm at the same height that I've been at since what? Probably 
well, I think freshman year, freshman, sophomore year, so I'm done growing. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be 5'7". I got two short parents. I ain't got nobody really tall in my family besides cousins. So I know I'm stopped growing. So when I pay $200 on a pair of shoes, that that can last. My shoes will last. All you got to do is keep cleaning them. They can still look fresh. They can be a 20-year-old a shoe and still look clean. But your hair, you're going to get that redone. So that's just a waste of 200 right there. You're going to wear it. And you might not like it, so you're going to get a redone, get some knotless braids, whatever. Come on now. You got your own things to do. Stop trying to finesse men into trying to, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to finesse men. Y'all be, and then y'all smart about it because y'all go for the men y'all know that's going to give it out. Y'all don't go for the real men. Y'all go for the dummies, the dummy men, the ones that get caught cheating because they 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 got their phone all the way, y'all. They, they got it open. They got the girl name is this. And, like, y'all go for those type of dudes. Y'all don't even go for the real men. Anyways, man, look, I can't even finish the video, bro, because it's just really delusional. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. This is how women are, though. This is really how women are. Real talk. Yeah, man, so subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow me on all social media platforms down below. It's me, your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.